and in the simulation. <coughs> oh. Okay, okay, you're right. <laughs> oh wow, I'm not having to talk, so it's not as bad for me. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Digital Bytes. I'm here with, wait. Wait, you're Ralph? Oh Matt? yeah, you're digital, what? Matt's oh, Digital hey. Bytes now. <laughs> All right, so Matt, I hear that you guys are doing a lot of really cool new innovations with Pier 1. Right. But you know, and I wanted you to demo it for me, but it wouldn't be fun to just do a regular demo. So what I did is I got five really, really hot hot sauces and they're on the wings in front of us. Oh man. So I'm gonna challenge you to, we're gonna eat these as you do the demo. I wanna see if you can maintain your composure and show me some cool stuff All right. on the way. Let's do this. So let's talk about data protection here, right? Like you don't wanna get caught with your pants on fire here. No, but we- So let's do this with our mouths on fire. <laughs> All right, so let's one. do the first one. So this first one, this one didn't seem so bad. So I think yeah. you're gonna be okay. Cheers. Okay. That's not that bad. That's doable. All right, Matt, so tell me. <laughs> it's actually pretty hot. Yeah. So tell me what we're doing here. <laughs> okay, so this is the new data protection assessment within Pier 1. You know, if you're looking to protect yourself from things like um, ransomware or, you know, malicious or accidental eradication of your snapshots, right, we've got safe mode. And so what we're doing here is we're looking at your organization and how Okay, it's starting to kick in here. I know, and um, you didn't bring any drinks. No. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, all right. Focus. I failed that I'll one. Stay focused. <laughs> so we're looking at, at Pure's leading practices as far as safe mode goes, making sure we've got regular snapshots, so taking snapshots once a day okay. and maintaining those snapshots for seven days. Then there's safe mode, which is going to prevent manual eradication of those snapshots, and we want to have an eradication delay of at least seven days. Okay. So that's what we're measuring our appliances against. And we've got this great honeycomb view at the top here. Okay, and this is gonna give us a good map. We've categorized these by four different categories. So this one appliance, I've already got a filter here for this one array that we're looking at. And this array is optimizable. Okay, what right? does that mean? So let me show you what that means. So we can see safe mode is disabled and the eradication delay is one day on this array. So the different categories that we have, there's caution, right? I think this you was, should explain me these after you have one more of the next. I think we should okay. go to the next one and then you should explain it to me. Okay, you have the right one, right? Because you don't want to do, go, I okay. Think. All right, yeah, it's kind of like a yellow color, <laughs> okay. right? All right, okay. Now <laughs> explain I mean, the, <laughs> I was in the caution zone, now I'm in the optimizable zone here. Okay. So caution basically means you don't have any local snapshots, you don't have safe mode enabled, like there's nothing, okay. right? Optimizable means you've got local snapshots, like you're headed down the right path here. Okay, you've got lo local yeah, snapshots, in. Yeah. but there's no safe mode to, pre to prevent those okay. from being <laughs> manually eradicated. All right. Okay. Good means you you got local snapshots. This is only, this is only the second wing. <laughs> we'll go easy. We'll go easy. You're doing great. <laughs> Good means you're headed down the right path. You've got local snapshots, and you've got safe mode. Okay. Right? Um, or replicated. Right, we're replicating these snapshots mm -hmm. to, to another array that is then protect, protected by safe mode. And then advanced means you are all in. Okay, so advanced means I've, I have safe mode enabled. I'm good. You have safe mode enabled and, and I'm doing local as well. You're doing lo local and okay. you're replicating that to another array. Oh, so I'm totally, I got all my data protection, local, remote, and I'm good if I, when the victim of a ransomware attack, I have a recover point with safe mode. Exactly, and okay. you know, one thing to call out here too, like safe mode's great, but it's your last line of defense. Right. right? So those are the four di different categories that we have. Now, what we've done, done with this data protection assessment, like. You saw the first one. Like, I think there's a Digital Bytes episode that you did on this. Yeah. So what we did in this new data protection assessment is we want to make it a lot more actionable. So we've created these recommendations. So for example, this oh, array really that cool. we have, it's saying, okay, increase your um, eradication delay for this array, right? Also enable per object safe, safe mode. Okay. Now we can do safe mode at an array level or at an ob object level. And then lastly, you know, if you want to go the extra mile, 
for you know, more like disaster recovery kind of things, then you can look at replicating these to a different array. So those are the three things that we we can do today with this particular array. Now, and that's and I can do this on if I have a whole fleet of pure systems, I can look at my entire fleet and you'll tell me exactly where those vulnerabilities are, and I can decide to turn on you know how, however far I want to go. Ex exactly. Okay. You can figure out. Matt, if you're I'm going to spare you right now. I'm going to have the next one. Okay. And see if I can even pay attention to you because okay. that last one, I'm I'm faking that like I'm really yeah. that was really, really hot. Yeah. I, I'm not maintaining composure. I'm pretending to maintain composure. So I'm going to take this one. Okay. And then I'll let you keep going because I don't, I think I think you need to take a break for yeah. a sec. Don't worry, I will have the next wing. So, oh wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, that I was... can't wait. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> My nose no, is I want right. to draw this out, man. So, okay, so now what we can do is we look uh, at the array itself, right? And again, I get some more information about the array, uh -huh. but if I don't want this to be part of the assessment, I can just go ahead and exclude this array from that assessment. If I don't want to see all these red cells... Okay. Right, now, now you might want to exclude it if it's just one that you... You're not maybe it has less critical data on it, and having all these features doesn't matter to you. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Um, and then you know we've got our different recommendations here to um, enable uh, safe mode and change your eradication delay. Okay. And then down here we can see like a overall view of our different snapshots, right? So in this case, 100% of our snapshots beat guidance. Now what that means is again we're doing one snapshot per day, and we're maintaining those snapshots for at least seven days. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's really hot right yeah. now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have the next one. I don't here. even know. I would, I would actually advise you against it, but if you... Um, I mean, it is part of the deal, but... Yeah, it is. This is Digital Bytes. Let's, just, and, let's uh, have a bite. Just a reminder that Matt did not bring any liquid at all, no. so that's, that was good. Mm. <laughs> all right, so... And then from a replication standpoint, we have zero replication here. Okay. But you know what's really cool though is the per object safe mode is you know we can apply this to various say it's a flash array different p groups right so I can actually go into this one here and I can see all of the different volumes that are on this array okay so we've got this one here digital bytes that sounds like you know data we want to protect yeah for sure right? these are all these great episodes I don't want to lose this footage we're not putting ourselves in pain <laughs> just to lose this footage right so. <clears throat> So, in this case, this one is in a cautionary state, right, for this volume. So there's no local snapshots. We're not retaining because we don't have any, and safe mode is not enabled. So, right. what do you say? Let's let's try to get this in a good state. Right? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. <laughs> let's Whatever do it quickly. Through this quick, right? <laughs> so, first though, before we enable safe mode, let's make sure we have enough space. We're going to enable this snapshot policy. Let's make sure we have enough space. So I'm going to click on this little pin here for the appliance, because what this is going to do is now when I go into the capacity planning, check this out. That array is still filtered, right? I don't have to go and filter it out for that array again. Okay. Now what I can do is, <coughs> within capacity planner, right, we can look at upgrading hardware, adding new workloads to the arrays, but we can also simulate uh, various snapshot policies. So okay. I click that shield there. I can see, we've got our default policy here, right? Take a snapshot every hour, keep those snapshots for a day, and then retain four snapshots per day for one week, right? That okay. matches our, our leading practices. And in this simulation... <coughs> oh. Okay. Okay. You all right? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not having to talk, so it's not as bad for me. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to cut that part out. Um, so now I can look at the simulation <coughs> and... With the safe mode, with the snapshot. <coughs> I think um, I'm going to actually, I know this part. So basically, yeah. what Matt is going to show, and this is really cool, is it's going to show you before you took the action where your capacity was at and then after you enabled the feature, which is really cool because it's, it's going to basically spell out for you completely what to expect when it comes to capacity consumption. Because as you know, whenever you do any kind of like data protection, you're, you're making either a copy in a remote location or you're taking a snapshot, which is a lightweight snapshot, but it does still take up space as um, you know, changes are made to the production volume. So, Exactly. So for this array, <coughs> so for this array, there's not a whole lot on here, right? So if we enable this snapshot policy, we're going to be at like 30% utilization. Okay, so 
that looks good. So let's go ahead and we're just going to close this out. Let's jump into purity now. Okay, so I'm going to go into purity and I'm going to go to protection. So we're going to create a new protection group. <coughs> so I go into protection groups. Let's create a new group. What do you say? Digital bytes? Sure. And this and now you're going to apply those policies to this group, right? Exactly. Okay. Okay, there's digital bytes, right? Now, let's add the volume to it. So we're going to add digital bytes to this. And so there we go, right? Let's go ahead and enable safe okay. mode. I think what's so nice about this is, you know, the Pier 1 team did such a good job creating tools for you to go in and analyze what taking different actions will result in as far right. as capacity. Like, that's so important because, you know, you, you, you may decide that, well, it may expose other things. Like, maybe you don't have enough capacity to enable some features. Right. Or maybe you have plenty, or maybe you just decide you don't want to do it all together. But the fact that you can model it beforehand is actually really important. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, that's one of our recommendations, too, is if you don't have 75% of free capacity, we're going to make the recommendation that you free up some capacity before you enable safe okay. mode. And it will, we, tell, it will tell me that. In it that. will tell you that okay. as a recommendation. Awesome. So let's go ahead and ratchet this down, and let's change that eradication delay so it is... By the way, while Matt's doing that, I gotta give him credit because I'm not having to talk as much. My lips are completely on fire. My <laughs> mouth does not, I can't feel my tongue. I'm maintaining composure somehow, I don't know how, because normally I'd be like Matt is. So, um, so yeah, so yeah. I commend you because no. you're having to talk and do the demo and I'm really not saying a whole lot. So. You wanna make this interesting? What, do you wanna just, how far are you f to being complete? Because we could just go straight to the last one. I think no. that's a really not a good idea, but. Okay, we'll get through this part and then we're gonna have another wing, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have an eradication delay. You do now. have to complete the demo, though. I that's know. The thing. <laughs> okay. We are. Right, going if you to feel confident it. you can complete it, then no, okay. I, not at all. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so, our leading practice when it comes to an eradication delay is seven days, okay? And the reason being, like, hey, you know, if you get hit with ransomware or, you know, it takes a couple of days for you to figure out that, that those snapshots have been eradicated and that you've lost that, that data, right? Somebody did something at that volume. This is going to obviously buy you a little bit more time. If, if it's going to happen on a Friday night, right, you're going to need those weekend days yeah. um, if you're on vacation, right? So seven days is our leading practice. But if you can go 14 days, if you can go longer, it's going to be a matter of finding that balance between, um, you know, just managing yeah. your storage, right? That's really cool because we haven't exposed those features to customers yet. Like you, you could, you were kind of stuck with the seven days, and you could, even right. though there was probably ways we could do it with tunables. This was, this is now a customer, um, to, like a cu exactly. customer thing. They can. That's cool. I'm not on the phone with support right now. To that's really this. awesome, right. actually. So let's set this eradication delay to 14 days. So let's go back to Pier One. So now within Pier One, okay, we've got safe mode is enabled on this array, right? But we've got this one percent here. What that means is 1% okay. of your objects, so we're looking at object count. We can also do this by capacity, but I just happen to have 100 volumes on this array. So for of those volumes, 1% of them are potentially prote protected by safe mode. Okay. But the safe mode recoverability here is 0%. What that means is that's really the number of, you know, basically the, the snapshots that are actually being protected from manual eradication by safe mode. That's the number we want to focus in on, right? Okay. This is more of your potential. This is what you've got. Eradication delay, 14 days. We're awesome there. Snapshots meet guidance. All good. So with that, we can jump back into our volume. And again, I can see safe mode is enabled for this volume, but there's still some work to do. We're still in that cautionary state. And speaking of cautionary things. You really want to go for it? No. I don't. So keep in mind, I, I, and I'm sorry about this, I'm the one that put the sauces on, and, they, and <laughs> some of them just came pouring out, and that wasn't by design. I was trying to put a little dab, and yeah. it came, so I'm sorry. And mine are like that too, so it's not like it's just you. It's, We're it's both not in this together. Yeah, exactly. All right, so this is the, the second to the last hottest one. Yes. And they've been very hot so far, so. They have. All right, Cheers. let's do it. Mm. Those are amazing wings, though. The wings are good. Mm. Um, I think, so, this could be one of those weird sleepers, because that initial didn't, that wasn't so bad. Right. But I have a feeling this one's going to creep up. That one's going to creep. So this should be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so that's our, our, our volume, right? So now let's go back to purity, because we forgot oh. one thing. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> the snapshots. Yeah, that, that, it's a creeper. Yeah. All right, so let's enable snapshots, because again, we've got safe mode here, but we're not protecting anything. Right. 
Okay, so let's enable the snapshot schedule, right? And we can do the default here. That yeah. still but this could impression. be just per their discretion. I mean, this is going to be different for for customers that want to have maybe extended. I mean, there's a whole bunch yeah. of different and, and all the more reason to use that that planner, right? More Passing granular, planner less granular, whatever they want to do. Exactly. So okay, now I think we're good. All right. And so with that. You want to go, are you yeah. close to being finished? I hope he's close to being finished because, are you close? Yeah. Okay, because <laughs> I wouldn't do this unless he was close. I mean, I don't have, like I said, I don't have a lot to do. You know, there's a way too much of this hot is. sauce on here. <laughs> all right, well, here, here we go. Nothing. This is for you all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one's not, that one's not creeping. All right, Matt, I, uh, what I wish you here? luck. Um, I wish you. you luck completing your mission. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. So now we've got safe mode enabled, one percent. Safe mode recoverability, one percent. What do you think the odds are that we've completed our mission? Matt, at this point, I don't even really know what's going on. So just, <laughs> just please finish. <laughs> so, I, I was compelled in the beginning when I could focus, but this is right, too hard. Yeah, no. <laughs> so there we go. Digital bytes. We're now protected from manual eradication by safe mode. With this footage, as long as we get it on that array, <laughs> we don't ever have to do this again. You know what's awesome is that you would have done it so much faster without the wings. So oh, yeah. like this process, and it was still pretty fast, even yeah. though you know we had to torture ourselves along With the way. The That's actually really cool. I feel like, I feel like between the the idea that I can model it beforehand, right. The fact that I'm you're encompassing all of the data protection elements that I have between local replication, remote replication, and then safe mode. Like this is really cool. This it is really is. cool, and yeah. I, I can't say anything else because now my mouth yeah, and tongue the talking. and everything is on fire now. <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't have hiccups or anything like that, because normally I would be, but that is hot. Yeah. Oh, you did good, though. You did a good job. I'm, Thank I'm, you. I'm, um, I'm pretty impressed pain. with it. So, is this available now? This is available now with Impure One. So go check it out. And by the way, all these volumes that we're looking at, this will work with um, buckets, with file systems, with okay. directories. It's not just volumes. So, so you're telling me anywhere. I can use this on Flash Array, Flash Blade, Blade, and then the whole family of Flash Array models too. Yep. That's awesome. So yeah, go check out the new data protection assessment in Pure One. Don't do what we did. <laughs> yeah, <don't. laughs> this was a one and done kind of thing. I would I don't know if you touched let we can, we can yeah, that's, <laughs> you did great, man. That <laughs> thanks, was awesome. Bro. Well thanks for having me. Yeah, no, thanks for coming back yeah. on Digital Bytes. I don't know if you'll have me back after this, but... No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, well... Not if you come with wings like this. You, you did a good job, and the Pier yeah. 1 team are definitely showing continuous innovation, and this is stuff you know, all of our customers could use. So. Absolutely, yeah. So, hey, everybody, thanks so much for checking out this very painful episode of Digital Bytes. I'm going to go rinse my mouth out with, I don't know, a fire extinguisher yeah, right I now. think milk is, is recommended. But, milk would um, be a great choice. But don't drink it. You don't have to drink it. You just have to swish it. That's what right. I learned. So you drink it, then you have even more stomach pain. So, all Good right. call. Cool, all right. Man. All right, we'll Thanks see you so next much. time. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> <laughs>